Good afternoon, everybody. You're watching Five Girls, Five Minutes, where five girls talk for five minutes and doing it at their videos. I am Tara. It is Tuesday, and I'm making this video really quickly because I have company in town, and I am basically just sitting out here on the porch waiting for my dog to go to the bathroom before I go and pick some of them up to take them up to Santa Fe. Um, I've... It's been really busy. It's been crazy. My life has been nuts since I got back from my trip last week. I didn't make a video last Tuesday because I was in the air, in airports, and I didn't have much time to spare, really. So, um, it was in no internet connection either. I didn't get in until really late, and I was real tired. So, travel day was Tuesday, and then 4th of July was Wednesday, and then my roommate's family is here in town, and she... And we were all basically cleaning the house like crazy people, just turbo clean, having a good time. Go potty! Go outside! Go on! Sorry, that's the point. I'm, point the reason I'm out here is for this little guy who doesn't seem to want to do what I want him to do. He's just going to dink around the yard and not do anything. So anyway, so the last couple days before they came were really crazy because there was lots of cleaning involved and like blitz cleaning and just making the house look good and making the patio look good and trying to impress them and, and my roommate was so stressed out like she was just beside herself really wanting to make everything look good and everything perfect and so I really didn't feel like I had a, a, a minute to sit down so I've pretty much been going on like full full steam since uh, I got back from Atlanta and then now they've been here since Saturday night and we've been going out to dinner, we've been taking them to touristy places. We're going to Santa Fe today. They're gonna go up the uh, Sandia Peak tram, which is pretty exciting. Um, I'm not going because, I'm, I'm going to drive them there, but I'm not gonna go up it because it costs like 20 bucks. And I don't have 20 bucks just to throw away on everything, on anything, to touristy things. But, but still, I mean, it's been really great having them here. And I like having them here, but like, entertaining people is so much energy, like it just, takes a lot out of you and it just makes me really tired so um so that's that and they they're leaving in the morning so tonight's like the last night and then we're having stuffed bell peppers for dinner tonight which is pretty exciting um I actually have really had an I had an idea of like what I wanted to talk about in my video today but I feel like I have just had nothing to no no time to do anything except just think about all of the crazy stuff that's been going on with me but as you guys know, when I was in Atlanta, I got to hang out with Tally. And it's so cool to me to see people, like to get to talk to people that you've never, like you've had, you've, I mean, I, I feel like I knew her because I, she, you know, she spent lots of time talking about things that she's interested in and things that she's doing. And I knew lots of things about her and I read her, her, her blog and stuff like that. But meeting her and having a conversation with somebody like that, it's totally different and it's really cool. Like, it's, um, I mean, we, we had lots of interesting conversations. We had lots of really cool, like, you know, devil's advocate debates and just really interesting topics of discussion. And, uh, and it was really cool. And I, it got me thinking about these, like, our videos and stuff that we make. I mean, they really are, it's like a one-sided conversation. And it's like, it kind of, I mean, we're having conversations and we kind of pick up the conversation from day to day and we talk to each other and we talk about our lives and we talk about what's going on. But having a conversation with a person is so cool. And like, especially, and that was one of the things I really liked about hanging out with Tally. It was just being able to talk to her and then react to things that she was saying and just spend time with her. And it was really cool. So, I don't know. Um, you know, and... And it was the first time we'd ever hung out too, and so there was a lot of a lot of really interesting things about that. And it just, I feel like I appreciate her in different ways. Plus, we went and found her very first letterbox, which was pretty exciting too. Um, I just, I don't know, I, I don't know. I felt like it needed to be said because it, it interested me, and I've been thinking about it a lot since that time. So, the dog is sitting in the grass now, not really doing much, sniffing around because. Apparently, I'm boring. You're not going to be happy when I put you back up in the house. So before I leave, that's right, I know. You're just going to be bummed. He's not going to be happy because because it's been a long weekend. We've been home a lot with him all weekend. And so now it's finally like I'm back to work and my friends are out and about. And we're 
getting things going and touring around and taking our guests all over places and he's been by himself a lot. Poor baby. He's basically the most spoiled dog in the world. So anyway, um, but that's, you know, that's just kind of what I wanted to talk about today is just, I don't know, what do you guys think about that? Like, I mean, I know that some, like, like Sarah and I text and I am pretty regularly and I know that that Libby and Itzel that talk on Twitter and they probably text too, I'm sure. But, you know, these are like conversations that you have, but like, it, it's weird to think about the one-sided YouTube conversations, maybe. I don't know. Maybe it's not weird. Maybe it's just me. But I think it's cool too. So anyway, I hope you guys have a good week and I will talk to you guys soon. See you next Tuesday. Bye guys.